All right, guys. So uh, today's level up session, guys. Happy Monday. We're going to be talking about market update videos today. Um, and the mindset, always kick it off with mindset. Market update videos are really powerful for keeping people up to date on what's happening in the market, obviously. And the whole thing is you being able to demonstrate to the marketplace, to your friends, your family on social media, that you are the expert, that you have the data, that you have the information, that you're the go-to person when it's time to make their purchase or sale. People always want to work with the person that has the information, the person that is the expert, the person that is going to be able to advise them best. So market update videos are uh, really, really powerful in you being able to demonstrate that you know what you're talking about. Um, and the framework for this, guys, what we're going to go over today is just really just walking through some of the role play of how to build out your intro, how to actually quote the stats. So I want you to see like live in person today on how to make an, a market update video. It's a lot easier than you think, but there's certain points that make videos more effective than others and also get people's attention more than others. So that's really what I want to cover today. Um, but the same framework that we're going to talk about today, you can use that for any videos, not just market updates. It could be any videos that are educational uh, when it comes to buying, selling, financing, anything like that. So same framework, you could just change the topic. Um, I got this information from a coaching program that we're in, uh, sales uh, manager coaching with Isaac Guzman and Daniel Beer. Um, so that's something that we learned about uh, not in this past session, but like two sessions ago. And they spend a lot of time coaching their agents on how to make market update videos. They do trainings as a group. They do role play as a group. It's one thing for me to say like, hey guys, this is how you do it. Go do it, right? But the next step is saying, hey, this is how you do it. Let's do it together and do it in front of me and let's coach each other and let's role play it. Um, this way, when you actually go in front of the camera and start making your videos on your phone or on a you know, Facebook Live or Instagram Live, you kind of have the, the basic framework. You got it down. You're not practicing on the video. You're practicing here in the classroom. So that's what it's going to be about. Um, raise your hand if you have made a market update video before. My, anybody else? Has anybody else made an up, a, a video where they're talking about, you know, what's going on in the market? Uh, Sorry, my raised hand isn't working, but I was going to okay. raise my hand. <laughs> I don't know okay. how to raise my hand on my phone. <laughs> Just raise your hand on your in person. Okay, cool. So good. Um, so guys, how often should you make an, a market update video? I would say at least once a month. At least once a month is a good kind of rule of thumb because the market is changing on it's changing on a daily, weekly basis. But once a month is a is a good check in with the audience. Um, if you're putting out market update videos every week, it you know can kind of get lost. It's just too much information. But if you're doing them once a month and like people are seeing you on social media or you're emailing these out to people, once a month is a good rhythm, I think. Um, and there's a couple things that are important with the market update video. And that's what I'm going to go over. So the first thing is going to be how you start your video. Because one of the things that we have to realize is that you can have the best information on your video, but if people are tuning out because it's just not to the point or it's not grabbing their attention or it's too long of a video, you're going to miss some people. So we have to understand that with video, just in general, um, people's attention span is going to be pretty short. So you, you got to make sure that you get to the point with the video. So the intro of a video, any video, and especially the market update video is gonna be important. So what do you guys think is a good way to start a market update video? Like what's the good intro or what's a good point of reference or how should you start your video? What would you, what would you, what do you guys think? My said attention grabber, there you go. That's exactly what I was gonna say, good job, my. Um, because here's the thing, right? There's so many videos on social media floating around, right? You get them every single day. Videos from different people, whoever you watch, whoever you follow. The ones that are going to capture your attention are the ones that say something powerful at the beginning that gives you a reason to watch the rest of the video. So I'm going to give you two examples, and then we're just going to work on just an intro. 
There's two examples, right? This is one example. I'm hitting record, right? This is me on my phone. Uh, hey guys, this is Enrique with PRG Real Estate. I sell real estate in the Silicon Valley. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the market and what's happening in the market. All right, that's one way, right? That's what a lot of people do, right? They first say who they are, where they're from, what the video is gonna be about and stuff like that. Although that's like what a lot of people think you should do, that's probably not the most effective for grabbing people's attention, right? So the other way would be, uh, God, hey guys, I just saved my client $100,000 on their purchase of their home because of this crazy market. And I'm gonna tell you all about it in this video. Hey, it's Enrique from Silicon Valley. Like I said, I just saved my client $100,000 when they first bought their home. And this is how I did it, blah, blah, blah. So there's a big difference, right? Because like the $100,000 thing, like that's going to grab someone's attention, right? Or in a market update video, um, if I just start the video off with, uh, let's see. Hey guys, I wanted to tell you that there's over 250 properties that just reduced their price in the last seven days in Santa Clara County. Let me tell you where the opportunities are when you're looking to buy a home, something like that. So something that's gonna grab their attention that tells what's happening in the market is extremely important. So I want you guys, like those of you guys that are making videos or those of you guys that plan to make videos, you wanna start off with something that's gonna grab their attention or it could be like, uh, I think, what did Carla start with the problem, then introduce, then go with the facts, right? That's a really good, good idea right there as well. If there's a problem, right, that people are constantly facing, like just put that as your first line before you get into your video, right? So you wanna talk about the problem. So what would be an example of a problem, Carla, that you can you can tell me? Um, about the property, I posted it this weekend. Um, I posted about a property, not just a market update, but I referred to like a problem that my client got about property conditions on appraisal. That's the first thing I said, like, imagine if you're stuck in a property under contract and there's appraisal contingencies. Uh, what are you going to do? And then I introduce myself. Like, yeah. uh, that's a five second rule. Within five seconds, a lot of people don't have, they'll just scroll. After five seconds, if they're not interested enough, they scroll. So I grab them right away in five seconds rule and you stay there for a minute. So I've been having a lot of success with that. And I think today I posted like a market update besides the affordability of the market. Mm -hmm. And if you notice like the projection of the timeline of the video, I say to the problem, like, Yo, you have to have about 450k thousand to afford this house. I'm like, damn. Five seconds in, like, why is it 450? Now you stay in 30 seconds. Yeah. It's actually my video is about 60 seconds long, and that's how I always do just 60 seconds. So yep. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm you guys follow me. So follow me, Agent K, Instagram. Follow Carla, Agent K, on Instagram, right? Because she's putting out video content. But yeah, you hit it right on right on the the nail, right on the head, right? So. You want to start off with that attention grabber. You want to start off with the problem that's going on. You want to start off with the big news, right? It's just like when you watch the news, right? The, there's the headlines all the time. And then they tell the story, right? And then they tell the facts. Then they go into whatever the details are. And even when you're introducing yourself, you want to keep that very brief because if someone's already on your page, they already know who you are. So you don't need to say like, Hey, it's Enrique Medellin with, with PRG real estate. I sell real estate in Silicon Valley, been doing it for 20 years. And right, like that, you already lost people, right? That already took up some bandwidth right there. So if they're already on my page, they already know that I'm Enrique and they already know I'm in real estate, right? Hey, it's Enrique, your local real estate guy. Boom. Then I'm going to go into whatever I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to keep that very, very simple. So I want to role play this right now with some of you guys, I want to come up with a catchy headline. What would you guys say is the catchy headline right now? What's happening in the market? How would you describe the market right now? Put in the chat. In one catchy, sentence. Catchy, catchy phrase that we say on the post or a catchy market update. The market update. Like if someone asked you, how was the market? What would be the headline of how you would describe it? The catchy headline or the attention grabber? Buyer friendly. You guys are writing buyer friendly, buyer friendly. Yeah. Price reductions. Is it a good time to buy? What else? 
Is there opportunity right now for buyers? Lock these rates, interest rates fell below five. Opportunity for buyers. Marry the house, date the rate. That's one a lot of people are doing. Um, less competition, discounted homes. So we're talking about buyers, right? But what if it's a seller? What if it's a seller watching your video? Still got equity. So right now what's happening in the market, right? Are homes still selling? Homes are still selling. Um, there's certain homes that are selling for more, right? Like if they're, if they're doing the right things, right? If they're marketing them right, if they're pricing them right and stuff like that, the homes are still moving. But then there's also why now is the best time to sell, right? So you got to kind of figure out like what's your message going to be to the market for that market update video. And I would say something like, like, hey, there's a lot of opportunity for buyers, but the right homes are still selling or something like that. Um, if you're going to talk about the market, right? Um, turnkey, turnkey homes are selling. Listing agents are using auction as a way to market, even though it, it isn't a real, a real auction. So some of the notes that I wrote down, let me pull them up real quick. Let me share my screen real quick. There's some of the notes I took from my coach the last time. So some of the key things in our market update videos is talking about the important stats. But when you talk about stats, you want to talk about not just say like, hey, this is how many homes are on the market, right? Because when you say this is how many homes are on the market, a lot of times people don't know what that really means. Is that good? Is that bad? Is that more? Is that less? So you always want to talk about the change in the data, right? So like, hey, there were this many homes last, last month. There are this many homes this month, right? Some of the key stats are like inventory, days on market, number of homes sold. Um, some key things are just referring to everyone as a homeowner. Because when you're making a market update video, you don't want to like discriminate any of them, right? You want to talk about like the facts, you want to talk about how it can apply to both a buyer and a seller, right? So when you refer to just a market update and when you're only saying, hey, buyers have more opportunity, then you may eliminate any potential sellers that are watching your video as well, right? So when you refer to people as homeowners and then you talk about what this info means, if you're looking to buy or if you're looking to sell, that's really where it's, you're going to say, okay, hey, if you're looking to buy, this is why it's important to you. If you're looking to sell, this is why it's important to you. Um, you want to talk about maybe why this information is important and then some sort of call to action and you want to keep it simple and fun. So the exercise we're going to do right now is going to be, we're going to role play the intro. We're going to role play talking about some stats and then we're going to role play what it means for a buyer and what it means for a seller. And we're going to walk through the whole entire process. Um, so when we talk about stats, I'm going to go to this part. Where do you get stats from? And I'm going to show you a good place to get your stats from. So you guys can see my screen. You guys can see the MLS here. Does everybody know how to reach the stats page when you come into the MLS? So when you log into the MLS and you go to the matrix and you click on stats here, it's going to bring you to this. Just like if you were going to search for a home, this is a good place to go pull up some stats. So some of the stats that are important are going to be inventory levels. Uh, days on market, list price to sales price ratio, and like the change that, that has happened from like last month to this month or the previous three months to this month. Those are going to be like some of your important stats. So what I'll do right here is I'll come to this page. I'll type in like Santa Clara County, if that's what I'm making the report for. Residential property, single family, condo, townhouse. I'll select those. And then let's pull up like inventory. So you can pull up inventory, average days on market, list price to sales price ratio, new versus sold. So let's go like this, the five counties, new versus sold. And I'm gonna generate that report. When you do that, it's gonna give you 
this whole uh, chart here, or if you click on data, it'll put it like in the data format. So we can talk about the difference from June to July, right? We're in August right now, so we don't have all the data for August. So what I'll do is maybe just copy and paste this. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that over here. And this top one was gonna be, let me see. New listings, number of new listings and number of homes sold. Right, so new listings in June, there were 1,802 new listings. In July, there were 1,546, right? That's how many new listings hit the market. So new listings and homes sold. And if you see in June, 1,327 homes sold, in July, 985 homes sold. So it went down, right? Number of new listings that came on the market is down from June to July. Number of homes sold from June to July is down as well, right? Which means less inventory coming on the market, less homes being sold as well. The other stat is gonna be average days on market, sales price to list price ratio. So I can generate that one. And I'm going to look here from June. I'm going to just copy these two numbers, June and July for the same months. So this is going to be I don't know why it's doing that, but let me see. Let's put that up here. Just gonna go average days on market and then list price to sales price. So those are your stats right there, right? So this is Santa Clara County. This is single family townhouse condo. Average days on market in June, um, 14 days. List price to sales price ratio, 6.1%, 106.1, right? So on average, homes are going 6.1% over the asking price. Now in July, the average days on market went up, right? From 14 to 21, the list price to sales price ratio went down. So homes are still selling above asking, but they're not going as high as they were before. And it's taking longer for homes to sell. Right, so very simple, like these stats right here with how much inventory and then days on market and list price to sales price ratio. Like this is really like all that most people need, you know, need to know. There's other stats you can pull up um, if you wanna go really specific with it. But when you're making a market update video, you don't wanna give them so much information where it makes it so complicated for someone to understand that they just tune out of your video. You wanna give them the pulse of the market, right? You don't wanna give them a whole analysis you know, and that it's just analysis paralysis, right? You want to really kind of get to the point. So based off this, we can conclude that, let's see if it's going to let me, We can conclude that um, less inventory from June to July, less home sales 
homes are taking longer to sell. Homes are still selling above asking, but not as aggressive. Right, so that means prices aren't necessarily coming down. We can look at prices too. That's another thing we can look at because a lot of people think like, well, our price is coming down. So if we go um, sales prices over time, from June, July and August, right? The prices have come down, right? They have come down, but this is the whole entire county, right? So each area might be a little different depending on what area you're looking at, but Enrique, and the yeah. reason why they may be still looking on the stat of going up 1% is because the listing agents are pricing them correctly now, or they're adjusted to, to the, to the um, decreasing market, right? Yeah. They're still being aggressive. They're still listing at a lower price and still going above. Yep. So overall, uh, home prices are down. List prices, right, have adjusted. Or sellers adjusting the list price. Ah, the hell is Okay, so what I wanna show you guys is when you're trying to pull up the market updates, right? You're trying to give people information. All the stuff is here in the stats section of your, of your MLS, right? So if you just go to the matrix, you can quickly pull, up, quickly pull up these stats, right? This video will be recorded. And then what your job is to do is to look at the stats and like just, you know, decipher what this all means, right? What we looked at is, is list price to sales price ratio is down. So homes are still selling over asking, but not as aggressive. And that's probably because agents are now pricing them. You know, they're, they're getting more realistic on the prices now, right? Whereas before everything was priced super low and then it was just going way, way high, right? Homes are taking longer to sell. The overall price has come down. And we saw like an uptick in inventory over the last few months, but from June to July, that rate has slowed as well, right? Homes are not coming on the market as fast this last month. Um, and then homes are not selling as fast, right? So there's still more homes kind of sit sitting on the market as well. There's less sales. So what would you guys say? Like if you're a buyer right now, what would this information mean to a buyer? I think a hook for a buyer would be like, hey, listen, prices have dropped, you know, about 150,000 in the last two months. Yeah. Right. From June to August, that's what we're looking at, about 150,000 as a buyer. Yeah. So in our county, right, if we go 1.85 to 1.687, whatever that math is right there, right? What is that? Hundred and hundred and eighty grand. About a hundred and eighty thousand. So there's been a significant drop in price. If you're a buyer, 
Um, but if you're a seller, homes are still definitely selling. It just really depends how you market your property. You're going to want to watch this video, right? So what sort of, now that we know this, how would we frame our attention grabber now? I would say something like, if you're in the market to buy right now, there's a huge opportunity for you to get a price a lot cheaper than you were a couple months. And if you have to sell, you better make sure your, your homes are still selling, but you better, better make sure your home looks great or something like that. I don't know. I would say something to that effect, right? So Enrique, so let me ask you, when, when you're doing this video, because it seems like you're kind of, in this scenario, you're targeting both right? Because you yeah. don't want to exclude any homeowner or, or potential yeah. homeowner, right? I just want to make sure. So that, that's the mindset in that scenario versus yep. attacking one audience. Yeah. Okay. Because it's an update, right? Because remember, like, we're not just going after buyers. We're going after buyers and sellers. Our job is to provide the facts, not to sway it any one way or the other. Just be, give what the data of what's happening right now for exactly. both sides. I like it. Yeah, you want to give both sides because you want to be the person you don't want to eliminate people because you may have someone that needs to buy, that wants to buy. And then you may have someone that wants to buy, but they also have a house to sell or someone that just wants to sell. Right. So you want to be neutral as possible when you're giving the information. But then you also want to say, hey, if you're someone that's looking to buy, this is maybe where you could take advantage of this. If you're someone that's looking to sell, this is maybe what you need to do. Right. So I always want to open up with, hey, these are the this is the headline. These are the facts. And then this is how it applies to you as a buyer or a seller, right? So who would like to, let's role play that intro. Let's go across the room and just role play that intro real quick. Who would like to go first? You're going to come up with your intro line. And we're going to practice this, right? So it's not going to sound perfect. You know, this is our, this is our time to practice. How would you start your video, right? You hold your phone up to your face. And what are you going to say? Think about the news, right? When you hear the news, they usually like just spit off a couple facts, right? Right? Like, hey, buyers are seeing a huge opportunity right now in this market, but sellers are still getting their homes sold if they price them correctly. Right? Because I didn't state one of the, I stated the facts, right? Those are both, right? Buyers are seeing huge opportunities or way more opportunity than they were before. And then sellers, you know, sellers, you know, are still getting their homes sold if they price correctly, right? For sellers are now adjusting their expectations to get their homes sold. So let's try that, right? Buyers are seeing a lot more opportunity today than they were before. Sellers are still getting their homes sold, but they've definitely adjusted their expectations. Hey guys, it's Enrique, PRG Real Estate, your go-to real estate person. Today, we're going to talk about the market. Boom. Here's what happened in the last couple months. All right. Who can role play that with me? Who wants to volunteer? Uh, I'll volunteer. <laughs> Julia, let's go. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> okay. So I start with my intro as if I'm taking a video right now. Yep. This is as your intro as you're taking a video. So your intro is going to be the headline, right? We said buyers are seeing way more opportunity today than they were in the past few months. Sellers are now adjusting their expectations to get their homes sold. And then okay. and then you'll say, "Hey, it's Julia, PRG Real Estate." Okay. Be, this is your market update for, you know, for the month of July. Okay. Hi guys, this is Yulia here from PRG Real Estate. This is your monthly market update for the month of July. Stop, Believe stop, it or not. Stop. Remember, headline first. Oh yeah, yeah. Buyers are seeing more opportunity and uh, sellers are still selling, um, but they adjusted their expectations. That's the headline, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So I literally just say the headline, right? <laughs> Because we want to go headline and then we want to go, hey, it's Julia PRG. And then then you want to go into, hey, this is your market update for the month of the month of July. And to, kind of to repeat the technique that Enrique is going over, guys, is we're not introducing ourselves. Act as if whoever's on your page already knows who you are. 
right? So okay. that's why we're not doing the intro. We're just doing that hook. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. This month in July, buyers are seeing more opportunities than ever to purchase a home. Uh, oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like spacing out right now. One sec. Um, okay. Oh my God, I don't know why I'm spacing out. Oh, Wait, what's that? So let me, let let me, me give you, you try one, Kiki, I can try one. Yeah, and let me give you guys a quick tip, right? When you're doing your videos, feel free to have a sheet in front of you where you just write the bullet point. You don't want to write the whole sentence out. Just write the bullet point. Just write buyer, more opportunity, seller, expectations adjusted, right? This way, when you see it, you can just freestyle it, but you, you don't forget the point, right? Okay. So you always want to have some notes. Um, you want to try that again, Julia? Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's just because how I usually do it, I do the, I always introduce myself and like, that's why I'm getting a little bit <laughs> like thrown off, but I like yours idea way, we already way better, so. You got, because you only got one minute, basically a quick minute to deliver the news before I scroll to the next person. Because I'm on social media, I'm scrolling, right? So you don't get me, I'm off, right? Yeah. Okay. This month in July, buyers are seeing more opportunities than ever. And sellers are still able to sell their houses just as long as they're adjusting to the current market. Now you're in, now who are you? Oh, right. uh, this is Yulia Braverman, your go-to agent from PRG Real Estate. I'm here today to give you the market update for this month of July. All right, stop right there. Mm -hmm. That's your hook. That's your intro. That was perfect. Okay, perfect. good. <laughs> you gave me the facts. You said who you were. You kept it real quick. And then you said, hey, this is what I'm about to give you, the market update for the month of July. All right, okay. that's what we're going to role play. We're just role playing just the hook, just that intro part. All right, who wants to go next? Good job, Julia. Give it up for Julia. Thank you. I'll go. I'll try it. All right, Jay, let's go. Hey, guys, is it a buyer's market or a seller's market? That's the question. Right now, we're seeing a huge opportunity for buyers where they're able to get property under 150000 from previous months. For the sellers, sellers are still, uh, properties are still selling, but you have to property price your property. Let me show you the market update for 2022 in August. This is Jason Palomino with PRG Real Estate, your preferred real estate broker. There you go. All right, that was the intro. Good job, man. You, you, you put your own spin on it, but that was perfect. It was, you got the attention, you got my, right? You were, you were loud, you were clear, you, energy, boom, you got the attention. All right, let's go. Who's next? Dewey, let's go. Hi, Enrique. <laughs> all, all right. right. Um, let's make this quick. So just boom, lights, camera, right. action. Sounds good. Um, buyers are seeing a lot of opportunity in today's market. Sellers are adjusting their expectation to today's market also. So let me tell you more about that. My name is Dewey, um, and I'm from PRG Real Estate. And uh, we're going to talk about today's market. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Who wants to go next? We're going around the room, guys. This is the exercise today. This is what we're working on. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it. So it's just going to be a matter of when I call on you. Let's go, Mai. You got this. Let's go, Mai. Right now, buyers are seeing more opportunity than before, and sellers are adjusting their prices to the current market. My name is Mai. I'm with PRG Real Estate, and I'm going to do a quick market update for you guys. Boom. Perfect. Yeah, that was solid. That was super smooth. All right. Who's next? Brenda. All right. Um Buyers are seeing more opportunities in the market and sellers are adjusting their prices. Hey, this is Brenda, your go-to real estate agent with PRG Realty, and this is your August market update. Boom, <laughs> solid. Let's go. All right, who's next? I saw a bunch of cameras turn off. <laughs> Manny, what's up? Where you at, Manny? Unmute, unmute. I'm going to pass, man. I'm going to pass. Let's go, Manny, real quick. Come I'll on. Do something later, man. <laughs> come on, come on, real quick. Just later. All right, Kimmy, Kimmy. 
Okay. <laughs> Hey buyers, get a house under. Wait, hold on. Hey buyers, get a house under 80k and sellers. Guess what? Buyers still need a home, so we can give you for the market price as long as we market properly. This is Kimberly with PRG Real Estate. All right, all right. We'll practice that one more time. Right? Dust the cobwebs off. Why don't you practice that one more time? One more time. <laughs> one more time. Okay. <laughs> So maybe do this, maybe instead of reading, like you already know what it is, right? Buyers yeah. have more opportunity, sellers got to adjust their prices, right? right? So you already know what that is. Buyers have more opportunity in today's market. Sellers are now adjusting their prices. This is Kimmy, PRG Real Estate. I'm going to talk about the market today for the month of August, right? But instead of reading, because when you read, then you got to like think too much to read. Just, just know what the bullet point is, right? Buyers, more opportunity, sellers. Adjust their price. Yeah, she wasn't reading. She was just putting the camera in front of her face. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Just try it again. <laughs> All right. All One right. more time, Kimmy. Uh, see what I said before or? Yeah. Hey, buyers. There's more opportunity. Get 180K below asking price. And sellers, buyers still need a home. So you can still get your house as long as we market properly. And this is your August market update. And this is Kimberly with Gargi Real Estate. There we go. All, All right. right. Good stuff. Good stuff. See, practice. It's a couple practice times, and then you, you get the nerves off, and then you got it. Um, who's next? I got Iris, Jake, and Jenny. Who wants to – who's going first? Iris, let's go. Um, buyers are seeing way more opportunities than before. Sellers are adjusting their expectation to the current market. Hey, guys, it's Iris with PRG, and I'm here today to give you the market update for the month of July. Woo! Solid. Super smooth. Good job, Iris. All right, who got Jake or Jenny or Teddy? Jake, Jenny, or Teddy? They're one of you three. Right? Come on, we gotta unmute yourself. Raise your hand. Who wants to go? I can go. Let's go. Hit me with it, Jenny. Um, one second. Market news flash: Stats don't tell you everything in a shifting market. Homes are still selling over and uh, under asking price. Why? Stats reflect agent strategy, success, and mistakes. Strat some strategies were applied in the past market, and now that the is shifted, we got the details. Jenny Loy with PRG giving you a smarter approach to real estate. Woo, all right. Yeah, you put some more on that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Jenny, um, you came off really, really confident. That was really good. I would only challenge you to try to like the attention grabber to try to shorten it a little bit. Even Jason, I know he gave a little bit more too because sometimes you, it was really good, right? But for someone, for, there may be a few people you might, you might've lost. So Try to condense that if you can, but you came off super confident, super strong. Like you sound like you had that thing rehearsed. So, so Enrique, so kind of um, digging into that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go no, ahead, Jenny. No, 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 no. It's just uh, whatever Enrique said made a valid point, but we also were just thrown on the spot. No prep. No, I know. So my, my question to Enrique guys is because he, he, you know, he's telling us to short it. So what is the rule of thumb? Is it like seven seconds, five seconds? Like what is the hook supposed to be? I right. would say five, five seconds, right? Like, because that's what that, they're going to decide whether they want to keep listening or not. Right. So if, okay. it's long, if it's too long winded and I used I, for me, when I did my videos back in the day, I used to have a long intro and that's one of the things I had to fix about myself. Cause I like to talk a lot. So boom, try to shorten that thing a few seconds. Right. And then in the meat of the video, then you can go and explain more. Right. But we're just talking about just the hook. Right. Um, all right, Jake or Teddy or Manny, if you want to come back, or whoever's on Team PRG, Callan, I don't know who was that. Was that Kimmy still? We got Jake or Teddy. I got you. Let's go, um, Teddy. This July, buyers have more opportunities with the price drop as sellers are making price adjustments in order to get their property sold. This is Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Oh, your pref your preferred agent at um uh, PR with PRG. Let's go, solid, solid. All right, hey, um, so Teddy, let me give you some feedback real quick. The only thing I would say from you, everything you said was good. I would just try to channel more energy in the video. That's it. So I would see if you can like 
up your energy. Like, even if that's not normally how you are, but remember in the video, you got like, you got to stand out to people. So pretend you just won the lotto. You just won the billion dollars, right? Brenda, you just won that billion dollar lotto ticket. You're hyped up, you're pumped, right? Like, can you say that one more time, but up the energy a little bit more? Oh, go Teddy. This July buyers have opportunity. Oh, this July buyers have more opportunities with the price drop as sellers are making price adjustments in order to get their property sold. This is Teddy, your preferred agent with PRG. Let's go. Boom. About that. You up the energy, bro. Good job, man. Um, okay. Who else? Jake or Manny, you guys up for a try? Jake, you there? Don't have the script. Cool. We don't have a script, bro. It's that's the great part about this. This is just uh, all you're saying is buyers have more opportunity and sellers are adjusting their price. This is Jake from PRG. This is your market update. Let's roll with it. Unmute yourself, brother. Hey, what's up, Enrique? How are you? Good. All right. So, so, uh, so, so, what do I say? It's uh. So this is the intro to your market update video. Buyers, buyers have a lot more opportunity. Hey guys, buyers have a lot more opportunity today as sellers are starting to make price adjustments. This is Jake with PRG. This is your market update. All right. Uh, so buyers have opportunities this time of year for uh, price adjustments and sellers. Uh, markets uh, cooling down. This is Jake from PRG Real Estate, your real estate resource. All right. That was the first time around. We're going to do one more time now with more energy, bro. Come on, let's go. All right. All right. Hey, this is Jake. Uh, ah, sorry. Sorry. This is the first time. Um, right. Buyers have more opportunity. Sellers are adjusting their price. This is Jake. This is your market update. Okay. So, uh, this market buyers have more opportunity in this market uh, prices are adjusting and sellers have opportunities to sell at a high price this is jake uh, your prg uh, your real estate resource all right there we go see there we go off the top of the dome all right <laughs> um okay part two of this right is we're gonna do the the stat change the market stat change so i'm gonna make this real simple for you guys I'll pull this up. Let me see. So this is where I want you to now to read the stats, right? And the next part of it is like, okay, so I'm gonna role play this. Uh, buyers are having a lot more opportunity in this market today. Sellers are now starting to adjust their price. What's up, guys? It's Enrique, PRG Real Estate. This is your market update. Today, I want to talk about what's happening in the market. So back in June, we had prices selling at about 106% of asking price. Now in July, they're selling at about 101%. So they went down about 5%. In June, it was taking about 14 days to sell a home. Now it's taking about 21 days. So homes are taking a little bit longer to sell the homes. If we look at prices in June, the average price in Santa Clara County was about 1.85 million. Now in July, it was about 1.77 million. So the prices came down. Um, when we wanna look at inventory levels, there was about 1,800 homes that came on the market in June. There was about 1,500 homes that came on the market in July. So the inventory levels, homes are coming on the market, but not as fast as they were. Um, also the amount of homes sold from June to July, there was 1,300 homes approximately sold in June. And now there was about a thousand sold in July. So less homes being sold on a monthly basis in the past couple months. That's it. That's how you do stats. Who wants to try that? And you see what I did is I didn't read the stat exactly because when you read the stat exactly, like 1, 858, 190, there was 1, 700. Like you don't want to do that. You want to like just summarize it. Homes sold around 106% about 6% over asking, then home sold about 1.4% over asking, right? So try to just abbreviate it as much as possible and just get to the point um, so you don't confuse people. Who would like to take a stab at explaining the stats? So we're starting- to, I can do it, Kiki. You want me to go right into just after saying my intro so we don't do the whole intro? So we no, I, want you to go, I want you to go intro, then stats. The whole intro, okay. 
Hey guys, so there's opportunity for buyers right now. But there's also great opportunities for sellers if you sell the property at the or if you list the property at the right price. I, this is Jason Palomino with PRG Real Estate. Just wanted to kind of go over with you the stats of what's going on in the market for the month of July and August. So currently right now, what we see is that prices have dropped from in June, they're at 1.8 million was the average price that the properties are selling for. It dropped down to about 1.7. Now the days on market, the properties have been sitting on the market a little longer in the month of July for 21 days first in June, they were sitting on the market for about 14 days. In regards to the percentage of what the prices have gone down, in June, the prices were selling for about 6% above the list price. Come in July, they're selling for about 1% higher, right? So that's a, dip, a difference of about 5%. Now, in regards to new listing and homes sold, in the month of June, there was about 1,800 new properties that were listed and about 1,300 that have actually sold. In the month of July, we have about 1,500 that were, that were listed and about 900. And 85 sold. Again, guys, this gives you a good snapshot of what's going on in the market. If you're interested about purchasing or selling, please feel free to reach out. I can go in and connect with you. Boom. All right. Okay. So good job, Jason. That was, that was really, really good, bro. Um, hey, guys, this is, and this is, again, guys, I haven't rehearsed. This is it. You can't get just through this on me right now. I just want it on him right guys, now. I'm not good at video. This is just, I'm just trying it. Right. Um, so who would like to take a stab at this, right? Quick, easy, don't elaborate too much. Just quick to the point. Remember, we only have a quick minute to get these people's attention, keep them hooked. Anybody raise their hand? I don't see anybody raise their hand. I'm gonna call on somebody. All right, I got either Iris, I got Jenny, I got Mai or Brenda. Who wants to try first? Let's go, Mai. Come on, I'm calling on Mai. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Let's go. This is this is a, this is where you level up, right? These are called level up sessions for a reason. This is where you level up by putting yourself out there. So, for my, I want you to start with your intro. Then I want you to say, "Hey, we're going to talk about the market. This is what happened in the last two months." And then okay. read off the stats. Right now, buyers are seeing more opportunity. Is it on? Okay, cool. But yeah. right now, buyers are seeing more opportunity than before, and sellers are adjusting their prices. Um to the current market. My name is Maya. I'm with PRG Real Estate, and I'm going to do a quick market update for you guys. Um, in June, we've seen that home prices were selling 6.1% over asking price, over list price. Uh, it was on the market for 14 days. Last month in July, it was um, homes were selling over, sorry, homes were selling 1.4% over ask price and was sitting on the market for 21 days. So what Right now, we are seeing that homes are sitting on the market for a little bit longer. Um, as far as prices, from June to July, we have seen a decrease in average of $87,212. Um, in June, there was 1,802 new listings, and of that, 1,327 properties were sold. In July, 1,546 properties were listed and under 1,000 were sold. So we have seen a decrease of inventory. Um, okay, here's how you're gonna take it home. Now, here's what this means to you if you're a buyer, here's what this means to you if you're a seller. I want you to if say you that. are a seller, there is a lot more opportunity with prop, with inventory. And if you are a seller, homes are still being sold, but at a slower pace. Boom. Contact me. What's your call to action? Um, let me know if you have any questions. I don't know. Yep. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. Or give me a call if you need help with this information. Something to that effect. Got it. 
All right, we'll cut right there. Good job, Mike. I know we're putting you on the spot, guys. And remember, this is going to take practice. I don't expect any of you guys to get this down right here on this first shot, but I want you guys to see the progress you're making, right? We went from not doing any market update videos to now you guys got an intro. Now you guys are learning how to read stats, right? This is this is the baby steps, right? Before you know it, you're going to be spitting these out like a, like a professional. Uh, who wants to go next? I got Brenda or Iris next on my list. We only got a couple more minutes, so let's just knock this out. Let's go, Brenda. I'm calling on you. Come on. <clears throat> okay. I thought Iris was going to go because, I mean, she had a really great um, intro. <laughs> so, okay. Um, buyers are seeing more opportunity in the market and sellers are adjusting their prices. Hey, my name is Brenda and this is, and I am your go-to real estate agent with PRG. And this is your monthly update um, for the month of August. Uh, in blah, okay. In June, from June to July, we've seen um, price it, list to, list to prices. <laughs> okay. From June to July, we have seen um, list prices to sale price ratios go down. Um, in June, it was at 106.1%, and in July, it was at 1.100. Jesus. <laughs> okay, sorry. It was at, can I start over? Yeah, just keep it going. We'll start over. Start over with that part. Just go part two. You did your intro. Now go into the stats. Um, so for the month of June to July, the average days on market has increased by seven days. Um, for home prices um, from June, they have decreased 180,000 from June to July. And new listings um, have also de decreased. In June, there are 1,800 homes listed and 1,300 so homes sold. And in July, there are 1,500 homes listed and 985 homes sold. Uh, yeah, the outro. Yeah. Hey, if you're looking to buy, this is what this means. If you're looking to if sell, you're interested to buy yourself, feel free to reach out to me. Boom. Okay. But what does this mean to a buyer? Uh, what it means to a buyer is that buyers have more opportunity to um, purchase at a better price for them and sellers have to put in a little bit more work to uh, price their homes and to sell. Great. Now close it off. If you're looking to buy or sell. Get... If you're looking to buy or sell, feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions, reach out to me as well. Boom. Let's go. Give it up. You got through it, right? Like, remember, I'm putting you guys on the spot, right? So it's going to be a little rough and that's fine. But when you guys are doing this on your own, you're now going to have the framework and practice this, and then you're going to get it out a lot smoother. Let's go, Iris. Um, buyers are seeing way more opportunities than before. Sellers are adjusting their expectations to the current market. Hey guys, it's Iris with PRG, and today I'm going to talk about what is happening in the market. Um, in June, we see home price are selling 106% over asking price and 101% in July. So there is a 5% difference. Average day on the market in June is about 14 days and 21 days in July. So it takes a little longer to sell than before. Home price in June are about 1.8 and decrease a little bit in July, about 1.7. We see new listing, we see about 18, 1800 new listing in June and drop down to, and drop down to 1500 in July. Um, there's about 13 homes, 1300 homes sold and about 1000 in June and about 1000 home sold in July. So less home being sold in the monthly case basic. Um, if you're a buyer. If you're a buyer, there is there is still more opportunities. And if you are a seller, then um, 
there uh, your homes uh, your home still selling but you have to in order uh, in order to sell your home you have to adjust your expect expectation uh, this is iris with prk and i'm here to provide you a smarter approach to real estate let's go good job all right good stuff good stuff let's see who else we got dewey you want to take a stab at it before we wrap up Just yes the last one I, I would love to. Um, okay. Um, buyers are seeing a lot more opportunity uh, in today's market and seller adjusting the expectation. My name is Dewey and I'm from PRG Real Estate and I'm here to give you a quick market update. Um, from the month of June to July, there's a 106% um, of asking price to 101% of asking price. There's a drop dramatically of 5%. Um, also, listing have been staying in the market a little bit longer than is, uh, a little bit longer from 14 days to 21 days from June to July. What does that mean? There's more opportunity for buyers to uh, get into today's market. Uh, home prices uh, uh, have dropped dramatically also from 1.8 to 1.7. There's uh, 100,000 uh, differences. Um, and also there's new listing. Uh, from June to July, from 1800 had dropped down to 1500. Uh, listing also been sold during this time. Um, in the month of June, listing have been sold 1300. Uh, 1300 uh, home have been sold, and the month of July, uh, a roughly a thousand home have been sold. What does this mean for you? That means that there's still more opportunity for you to buy and also there's opportunity for seller to adjust their expectation so you can uh, get more buyers. Um, if you want to sell or purchase your home, feel free to give me a call and uh, I will help you out. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Dewey! <laughs> Solid, bro. Yeah, Dewey. <laughs> Solid. All right, uh, we're coming up on time, guys. We only got an hour with these, right? Raise your hand if this was helpful for you. I know some of you guys got uncomfortable. I didn't say raise your hand if it was uncomfortable, right? But let's do that. Raise your hand if it was uncomfortable. Was this uncomfortable for you being put on the spot? Yeah. So just remember, guys, your first videos, your first time putting yourself on the spot, it's always going to be uncomfortable, right? But each one of you, I can honestly say you guys grew in this session. This quick little one-hour session, you guys leveled up, right? You now have a framework. You now know how to start your videos. You now know how to start it with an intro. You now know how to find the stats. You now know how to go spit that out there. Every single time you do this, it's just going to become smoother and smoother and smoother and smoother. And you're going to have a lot more confidence, right? You got to imagine, I can do this at the drop of a hat because I've done over 500 videos. My first videos sucked, right? Super choppy, super, you know, not confident. I've done it a lot of times, right? Which is, I've gotten progressively better. Jay, what you got? No, just Enrique, awesome training. I think, again, like just what you mentioned, you showed us where to get the stats, how to, how to run through the whole thing. The one thing that we didn't get, though, that I want to see if you can add really quickly is what is the outro? What is, because again, I think it's important to us to have that outro because I did mine and I don't know if that's the correct way by saying, hey, reach out to the call of action. I don't know if that's the route we're going towards. What, what, what is the, just, just the outro? The outro is, is basically, here's all the stats and then here's what it means if you're a buyer, here's what it means if you're a seller. That's the outro. So, um, right, I gave you all the stats. Hey guys, if you're looking to buy, this is what this means. This means that there's a lot more opportunity right now right? The prices have come down so you can get a lot better of a deal than you did before. If you're a seller, just know that homes are still selling. They're still moving. It's just taking a little bit longer and you may have to do a little bit more work and put a little bit more effort to sell your home. Now, if you guys have any questions about this, you need help buying, selling, or just want to pick my brain, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you out. Boom. See you next month. Perfect. No, thank you, Kika. That, that helps because that, that's, that completes it. Right, because if you give someone stats, but you don't tell them what it means, that's the disconnect right there. A lot of people just throw numbers and then they expect the audience to know what those numbers mean and they're, they're foreign, foreign language to them, right? So anytime you give any information, any stats, any technical info, 
you got to then explain what it means to someone looking to buy, what it means to someone looking to sell. And now you really drive it home. Right. And then the call to action is always like, Hey, if you guys have any questions, I'm here to help. That's it. That's, that's it. Right. And someone will reach out if they have any questions. So you should be doing these once a month. And what I, what I challenge all of you guys is to, you guys have the framework, you practiced it, take all this. I challenge you guys to put a video out today. I'm going to put one out today personally of this exact information. I challenge all you guys to put one out today. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be super edited. Just simply pick up your phone and just say, Hey, what's up? The same exact way we just did it. Just record it, put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook and just put it out there. Right. Who's up for the challenge to put this out there today? Anybody up for the challenge? Who's going to do it? My, you up for the challenge? Jake, Teddy. Who likes to be uncomfortable? Raise your hand. Who likes to be uncomfortable? Raise your hand. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing, right? You guys, you got to remember, if you want business to come to you, you have to put yourself out there and you have to give people a reason to come to you. No one's going to come to you just because you're in real estate. They're going to, because there's a lot of people in real estate. There's thousands of agents in our market that are in real estate. They're going to come to you because you are showing them that you are the best. You are the most knowledgeable. You are the most consistent. You're the person with all the information. That's why someone is going to reach out to you and want to do business with you. Right? So you got to get in the habit of doing this on a weekly basis. That's how you're going to take your business to the next level. That's how you level up. All right. So I want to see videos from all you guys. I'm going to lead by example and I'm going to do a video myself. So it's not just me talking to you guys. It's me doing it. And you guys seeing me doing it with you. Cool. Hey, Giga, can you post those stats in the, in the chat so that we can just leverage those right away? Yeah. I'm going to put all the stats in the chat. I'm going to give you, I'm going to make it super easy for you. Right. All you got to do is just spit it out. All right, guys, let's make it a great day. Good stuff. Thanks, guys.